Meteorologist Ryan Shamta explains the science between storm surge for us tonight. Storm surge is by far the most violent threat in a hurricane. More importantly, this can cause excessive damage if you're on the wrong side of the storm. In fact, storm surge is the main cause for death in any hurricane. Nearly half of fatalities occur because of it. This happens when strong winds of an approaching hurricane push water on shore. As a result, the sea rises and a bulge of water sweeps over coastal locations, causing flooding. The northeastern quadrant, or as some call it, the dirty side of the storm, will drive in water due to the hurricane's counterclockwise motion. Being on this side of the storm makes a coastal location susceptible to storm surge. This is why during Hurricane Hannah, we saw four to six feet of coastal flooding between Baffin Bay and Port Aransas. These are the normal astronomical tides at Bob Hall Pier during late July. When you compare them to the water levels during Hurricane Hannah, you'll notice the rise. That is the storm surge. The problem with storm surge, it can build up before the storm even makes landfall. Moreover, the coastal flooding can make evacuation procedures extremely difficult. Forecasters predict storm surge by taking many things into account, such as size of the storm, intensity, forward speed, shape and depth of the coast, and more. These calculations further help communities at risk. This map shows what locations have been in danger the last 100 years for storm surge. In the United States, you'll see the eastern and southeastern coasts are vulnerable. Between Florida and Texas, multiple hurricanes have left damage in their wake like Harvey, Katrina, Michael, and Hurricane Andrew. To combat the threat of storm surge, cities have built infrastructure to defend against flooding. Levees and seawalls are designed to keep water out or to redirect it. However, even with those in place have been proven to be insufficient when face to face with a major hurricane. All right, Ryan, thank you so much for that report.